Okay guys, so we are going to go do business as usual today. The last part of the storm is going to hit us today and it was Hurricane Dorian was because it didn't really hit Florida. We just got the tropical storm from it. So thank goodness because it is a big one and it's bad. So we're going to go throw away our garbage because we've waited pretty much all week to throw it away. And um, I have to get some things at the store, just the little store up the road because, well, we ran out of sponges to wash dishes. So I'm just gonna get that. So business as usual this morning. Yep. Oh, and we were supposed to have no school until Friday, but they reopened the school um, at the end of the week. Yeah. So he is going to go to school again tomorrow, first day. I'm so worried about the storm and we're lucky we didn't get hit by it. You're right. Me too. It's a bad one. Me too. Yeah. yeah. I found some candy and a wrapper. Right there. There's a lot. <laughs> Emotional versus factual. Everybody told me to get this a long time ago, but I got another brand. So I'm going to try this one. I think you don't I like candy, Daddy. No, I don't. That means we're not going to buy it. We love candy. Here. We so I, I think I did try it, but I had to take it back. I'm going to try it again. Good. Fit me. Thank you, Abigail. <laughs> Does not candy. Always at Trinley Buffet. Okay. There's no candy. Yep, that's right. Except not little candy. So luckily, that appears to be the only damage we've seen on this road so far. So Raphael, tomorrow's school day again, huh? Yep. Yep. The county reinstated school. Is that a way to say it? Yeah. yeah. Good. I'm right for a change. And next time, I'll tickle Daddy with all what he did and hug him. Yeah, we had some fun, huh? Yeah, he did it to me while he was in bed. He was pretending he was asleep. And uh, he was pretending I was a statue. Me too! Finding the best ways to play with kids during the entire day because we are all four of us together. We've been waiting for the storm to pass and it's finally the last wave I think passed us. We have one more little flash flood and that's it. And we're eating our Southern Reserve of food. Yes, potatoes. What do you call this? I call it everything potato. Do you? You call it K. Yeah. They looked much better yesterday. You call it K. Yes. The best but cake. It's bacon cheese and Bacon bits. This looks like cake. Okay. It is yummy, isn't it? Yeah. It looks this like looks like tiny slices of cake. Mm -hmm. And a few days ago, I watched Garfield, but it wasn't as fun as I was expecting it to be, but it still was fun. We actually, I, I can say this, right? We, we eat this as an entire meal. This right here? Yeah. yeah. We got the protein from sour cream. And the cheese, the cheddar cheese, bacon bits. Plenty of carbs too and fat. So if you're looking to fulfill your macros, one meal will do it for the day, I think. Pretty much. But have one. But have one. I'm really excited for you going to school too. Me too. And having a recess. And I'm eating it the keto way. <laughs> cheese, bacon bits, and the rest of the sour cream. So, so you've been doing keto for a couple of days now? Yeah. Kind of like hit up. You want to talk? Keto. Talk about the plateau? Oh, I was just getting to where I was like, I felt like I was gaining weight. I didn't gain weight. I looked at the scale, but it looked like I gained weight and I didn't like that. And I've been having a problem with like my legs swelling up and stuff. So I didn't want to do all that. So I went keto and I feel much better and I feel like I was like I'm starting to lose again. I'm pretty sure that we're gonna finish our carb reserves. Like I said, the potatoes and everything else we had are carbs and uh, just basically focus on protein and fat. Uh, keto is always done really well, especially with Raphael. If you see, like you'll see months where better and then months that are not as good. And, and it's um, behavior. It, yeah, it's just, it changes rapidly. It takes like a couple days or three days even. And that's it. He's actually had some trouble at school. He started a new STEM and he has been 
touching people. So he he's not been very good at school. We want to keep him on the on the um, no yeah. gluten, no sugar, you know. So we're gonna go back to that because we've been here long enough. I think we have eaten our fill of American treats until Halloween. America. Yeah. yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah. So we always strive to get green, right? Mm-hmm. And you're going to get green tomorrow. Um, Daddy. Mm -hmm. Mommy's right, right about Halloween candy in America. And I hope there's actually Oreos for Halloween Ooh. because I love it. Well, I guess we'll wait a month and a half and see. Me too. A month and a half? How see much you is then. that? <laughs> 90 days. Oh, my goodness. What, what am I even talking about? 45 days. <laughs> All right. See you soon. Bye. It's Hi. 45 days, really? A Halloween? Yeah. Really? Mm hmm. It's a lifting power. Hey, we're having a train fight. And this is Abigail. This is Abigail. This is me. Abigail's the bad guy. And I'm controlling her. And you know what just happened? Let's do it all over again. In slow mo. Let's see what happened. They just bashed into each other. Let's see what happened when they bashed into each other. Let's see which one falls. This one is gonna fall like that. If it falls. And this one is gonna fall just like this. And I'm lifting this book up. Oh, yeah, yeah. If it falls. This is Abigail's team. This is my team. And I called this a three-year-old baby because Abigail's three-year-old. And she did something bad. Don't tell them, Abigail. You know, Abigail, put that back on there. Put that back on there. Put that back on there. You're not as strong as me, are you? All right, let's do this all over you. Okay, this is Abigail, this is Raphael. I called it a three-year-old baby because Abigail did something bad in her. Let's see who bashes and falls. Let's do all, all over again. That's how I fall. No, put it back, put it back, put it back. This time you can really see the trees moving. Oh, look at the trees blowing. Yuck, yuck, yuck. So this is pretty much, this wind is why we got the Trampoline. Yeah, we got that off of there and you can see it's pretty secure just with its water weight right now Yeah, it's not really blowing right now, but it's more than we like um, this was actually This tree actually blew up against the window and it scared me. So I thought it was gonna break the window we'll continue cheese. Yeah So Rudy needs to go on a walk Raphael already took a shower and Abigail I believe mommy helped her out and it's time for us to go walk, on a walk we want Rudy. Would you like to come with me? Yeah. yeah. Okay then. Come on, Rudy. Come sit. Bye. Come. Cheers. All right, so Rudy's just waiting on us real quick. Uh, Raphael is going to go get a drink, and we're going to leave on a short trip with Rudy. I think it was very fulfilling for Andrea to see all of her old houses because after you leave them for a while, like we did in Israel, you go back there five years later, and they're just completely different. It's Kind of crazy, actually. I had a specific memory of how I remember my houses and then the houses I lived in. And then I go in there and it's just completely different. Are you waiting for Raphael? Are we going 
We're just cruising on a walk. Rudy's tracks? Yeah, they are. There might be another dog. But yes, the kids are learning to track. Raphael's learning. I'm making foot track to track other dogs or Rudy. Footsteps. Yes. At school, they're learning all about nature and the surrounding area, dangers, etc. I'm making foot for even a bad guy drill and a fire. What kind of bad guy? A thief drill that has a gun. A thief that has a gun. So school's doing all that. And Rudy I'll track is house. helping us by tracking. Right, Raphael? Yeah. Is she tracking her own smell? No. This is not Rudy's prints. This is Rudy's yeah. sense of smell working to find out what's going on. She's like a detective right now, Raphael. Me too. I'm following Steph. Yeah, so Rudy has really been intensively learning to walk at our pace, at least one of us. It's Here's very hard. Gate. Also, we're having to teach the kids to be very quiet in nature, to hear exactly what's going on because animals are always lurking around there. And as you can see, we do have very interesting wildlife here from all our vlogs you could probably see. And times like this, when we see a bog or whatever that body of water is over there. To me, that's quite scary because I don't know what's in there. Like it's a fear of the unknown, I guess. So we're very quiet. And while we have not seen any alligators around or predators, we're still being very careful. While it's inconvenient, we would very much like to hear your feedback about the videos, the last few vlogs. We would like to hear about it. You can tell us on Facebook, Instagram, or wherever else you can catch us. For you guys, your experience, we would very much like to hear about it. Hmm. I'm sure you can't see that spider. It's going all the way up. Is this scary in the woods? Yeah, one of one of the things I wanted to upgrade the microphone for for you guys is to really experience the woods and nature because you were not in the other vlogs nature in a different capacity, especially if you guys are watching it with headphones. So this grass is taller than me kids, yeah? That grass. Not this grass that we're walking in. Yeah, we have some very tall grass here. Over here. Mm -hmm. That way? Yep. It looks like someone's neighborhood and the spider webs all over me. Yes, it's actually quite fascinating how you're in the forest and then look how they made their mark right there for the yard. That's how you know that you're going to be trespassing. Come here, Abigail. That's someone's house. We're going to keep on going. Come here. Come here. Come on. Does this sound like chickens to you? No. It sounds bugs. like bugs to them, Matt. Or butterflies. Yeah. I think Rudy still has some energy. Would you like to play with her? She ripped a green ball. She ripped it? Yeah. That's what doggies do. Would you like to play with her? How about a blue ball with another one? Let's play catch. Go ahead. You can catch me. I always tell her to bring it to me, but she doesn't do it. Would you like to play with that? Go get it. Get it. <laughs> he got it. <laughs> throw it over here. Go ahead. Over there? 
Yeah. I can throw far. He's keyboard turning, but it's okay. Yeah, look what I raised. Oh, no. A bunch of gamers. I'm using my sword. <laughs> Shreds off. He said that to me. I hope you so much, Dad.